welcome back to the channel and today I want to talk about something really really important so today's topic is me explaining why you need to study fashion design um, as a degree if you're considering becoming a fashion designer now the reason I'm actually making this video is I feel like I've made statements in the past and people take it the wrong way so in this video I'm gonna kind of clarify all the things I've said in the past now one of the things I say a lot is you don't really need to study fashion design to become a fashion designer, a great fashion designer. And I use examples like, you know, Ralph Simmons or Ray Kalkubo, or I use people like Karl Lagerfeld, who are all fashion legends in their own right, um, but none of them studied fashion design. Now where I think this is misleading, and I didn't follow up those statements with another statement, is I didn't tell people the second part of um, the spectrum so my opinion on this is if you study fashion design as a degree you're given all the tools you need to become a fashion designer obviously some schools are different to others some schools teach you in a way where you're in a better position to work under a brand and then some schools like CSM are more creative and they teach you in a way to kind of be more creative and make your own brand they kind of push you that direction either way from a design aspect, you're given the right foundation and base uh, to design well and become a good fashion designer. Now, for all the great people and all the greats who didn't study fashion design, so let's go through them one by one. So Ray Kakubo, uh, she didn't study fashion design at university. However, she worked in the textile industry for a long time. She worked as a freelance stylist and um, she, um, she made Comme des Garçons she was making clothes under the umbrella term Comme des Garçons before she even ever made the brand official. So she was working on her craft for many years. Who else are we gonna talk about? Raf Simmons didn't study fashion design. However, his mentor, his mentor was Walter Van Barendonk, who is a fashion legend in his own regard, in his own right. Who, how many of us are gonna have the opportunity to be mentored by someone like Walter Van Barendonk? none of us so the problem i have is a lot of people start to take what i say the wrong way and i feel like i was being kind of misleading bringing these anomalies as like the perfect example of not studying fashion design so why will i not study fashion design because i understand what it takes to become a fashion designer so i know if i'm not studying fashion design i'm going to need to intern at brands i've already interned at two brands um I've interned at Stella McCartney and I've interned at Deploy London. So I'm working on my craft. I'm not like, kind of like what guys I think I'm kind of portraying to other people where I'm like, don't, don't say you don't need to study fashion design to become a designer. That doesn't mean you don't have to intern or you don't have to work at places for no money working on your craft or you don't have to, you know, get some sort of apprenticeship somewhere and learn how to tailor and stuff like that. That is what is required if you don't study uh, fashion design. Because if you don't study fashion design, essentially you're playing catch up. So really, now you're gonna have to learn all the skills that people that study fashion design didn't uh, learn in the classroom. You're gonna have to learn that outside the classroom through kind of like apprenticeships, internships and stuff like that, or just trial and error. So my whole point of making this video is, please don't take me the wrong way. If you want to be a fashion designer, and you're agreeing with me and you think you don't have to study fashion design for whatever reason, just realize you're gonna to have to work five times as hard as people that do study fashion design because all the information they need is given to them all in one, at one point by people who have been doing this for like 20, 30 years, they're lecturers. So if you're not gonna study fashion design, you better start interning, you better start working on your craft, you better start, you know, doing trial and error, you better buy a sewing machine, you better start working on some designs, you better really, really start working. Um, some more examples I can bring. Karl Lagerfeld didn't study fashion design, but Karl Lagerfeld was such a good designer anyway, that I think, if I can remember correctly, he moved to Paris when he was like 16, around that age. And he was such a good designer, even though he wasn't formally trained, he used to enter his designs into, comp into competitions. And then he started winning these competitions and through that, um, he got some internships in Paris and then he kind of worked his way up that way. So you can't compare yourself 
to guys like <laughs> Karl Lagerfeld, who was so good at 16, he was beating adults at design competitions, or someone like Ray Kalkuba, who worked in the textile industry for years, or someone like Raf Simmons, who um, was mentored by the great and still great Walter Van Brandonk, or who else is in that in that boat of unformally trained designers. I don't know who else I've mentioned, but you get the point. If you're not gonna study fashion design, work on your craft. It was misleading for me to say, you don't need to study fashion design. Meanwhile, I'm like interning at fashion brands. And the way I was portraying it was like, um, studying fashion design is outdated, which is not true. Um, it's just, I personally don't feel like I need to, uh, but I feel like most people should. And if I could go back in time, I would. However, just my circumstances and the fact I want to, I don't really want to study fashion design as a degree. I want to, I want to study fashion journalism or fashion PR. So that's the main reason why I personally won't be studying fashion design. So if you have, if you're like young, you're like 18, then if you have the money, obviously finances is another thing. Um, that you have to consider, but definitely consider studying fashion design. Another question I can answer while making this video is, a lot of people ask me, um, a lot of YouTubers have brands now, why don't you have a brand? And once again, I just want to work on my craft, man. Like, I don't want to force it. Let me work on my designs, master some stuff, and then when I feel like uh, my, my designs are on a reasonable level, then I'll release a brand because everyone has been asking me that question. I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't like the idea of designers who have never designed themselves coming out with brands. It just doesn't sit right with me. But yeah, on that note, uh, comment down below what you think in the comment section. Do you think designers should study fashion design degrees or should they not? Uh, what do you think it takes to become a fashion designer or a good one? And yeah, on that note, uh, follow me on Instagram at Fashion Roadman. Um, if you want to support the channel financially, then the Patreon is in the description below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll be back for another video soon.